Can you see by the dawn's early lights what so proud at the twat? Stop, cut it. When you start singing, you know, it's the, the music is fading out. It clashes. Who's brought strong? Nope, stop. <laughs> Welcome to another fantastic, original, uh, hilarious, thought-provoking episode of the Super Mega Show. Genius. Uh, I forgot to put genius in there. Whimsical. So that's why we have you. <laughs> Shucks, dude. The company genius. Thank you, man. That is my title, actually. Uh, if, you, if you look at the business documents, the California business documents, I am listed as genius. Who also has the biggest company, Penis. <sighs> They wouldn't let us put list that officially. I was just but rhyming. I, 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 I don't want you to take that as a compliment. I was just trying to find a silly rhyme because I know that from the first episode, people really enjoyed when we rhymed. Oh, they loved it, dude. And when I farted. Oh, dude, they, when, when you <laughs> farted, plus when, when, you, when you were rhyming words, and then I jumped in and, and I rhymed a couple words, people went fucking nuts for that. You can see the viewer retention just skyrockets at that moment. Replay, replay, oh, replay, 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 replay. It was crazy, dude. But uh, thank you all. Uh, for tuning in. That's right. Thank you. Uh, it really means a lot. This is episode three of Super Mega Show. And uh, my name is, is Little Matthew Watson. And I'm Big Ryan. That's right. And, uh, not to be confused with Big Nick. No, not Big Nick. He I'm, will be a guest I'm on the podcast. Big Ryan. Big Ryan. And that's not a weight thing. And I'm actually big. No, you're not. No, I'm tall. tall. Yeah. I'm you're... taller than Big Nick. How tall is Big Nick? You think well, I don't want to get it wrong. I'll look it. I'll look it up real quick. That would be very embarrassing if you if you got it wrong, and he might actually sue us for that. So how tall is? And we're not making fun of his height. I don't want people to start fucking clambering over each other to get mad at us. God forbid when we made fun of uh, micro penises, dude. How tall is Big Nick? Well, he's three eleven, but that that's not what I was. Guess what? Guess what day he was born. 9-11? Yep. Really? Yeah, Big Nick was born on 9-11-1998. Wow. Oh, he's younger than us? Mm-hmm. He's 25. Dude, that, that's crazy. That's like we recently found out Mr. Uh, Mr. Beast is... Like is 24, 20, 5 25. Or some shit? He was born in 98. I always thought he was like 30-something. Dude, I, I, I thought, thought he was like, was like 35 or some shit. <laughs> Like he he, no offense to him, of course. Like Mr. Beast, I mean, he funds this podcast, so we can't really say anything. We're bad part about of the him. Beast Network. <laughs> We're part of the, the the Beast Nation. Yeah. Um. But Luckily basically, he gave us jobs at the uh, at the chicken the Mr. Beast chicken tender play the bur- what was it Mr. Beast burgers chicken nuggets something. Well, like I'd that. hope you would remember the name, considering that you know you're, Mr. You're Beast Burger putting shifts in. Well, <clears throat> I wasn't making the food. I was just cleaning the back. Well, the food is left up to me, and uh, they didn't really give me any uh, direction on how to make the Mr. Beast burger, so I just kind of was given just a bunch of raw meat and uh, you know some 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 buns and stuff. I think I did a good job. I think so. Hey, I mean, well, I mean, we can uh, for the visual listeners. You actually sent me a picture of the first burger you ever made at the Mr. Beast burger. Yeah. So, so here here's here's Matt's creation. It's a little rare, but you just know, a little bit. A lot of a lot of people like their burgers rare, so. Uh, I mean, I like I like my steaks medium rare, and you like them medium, medium well. Well, I like them. Oh, to just a crisp. Wet, not even medium. No, no, no. no. I like well. I like I like medium, medium well. I did have a medium not too long ago, and it wasn't half bad. Mm-mm. I think I I just don't know if I can go. I, I don't know what I I was about to just sling some bullshit. I was about I don't know if I could go to medium well, but at the same time. I, I'm I'm a fiend for meat. If you put a medium well steak and it's well seasoned and all that, I'm gonna fuck it. It's probably delicious. Oh, dude. I, I mean, like as long as it's not like overdone, uh, a, a medium well steak or a medium steak is it's fine by me. Although okay? I do prefer medium rare. I love the juiciness. And I the do tenderness. It's good. I'm like, not I'm like not much a, of a rare guy though. Like a medium rare filet mignon, <sighs> mignon. Filet mignon, it, it is delicious. It's really good. We had some good steak recently. We did. It was fucking uh, insane. Oh, yeah. Insane in the... Membrane. There, there we is. go. More rhyming. I well, like uh, that. More of a reference, but it did also rhyme. Yeah. You know, and... Uh, so, huh? Is the viewer retention still up? Oh, yeah. We're rhyming. Of Y'all course Y'all still listening? Up. They're definitely listening. Cat, hat, bat, chat. 
Splat. Brat. What? Splat. Okay, see? Boom. Okay, sorry. Okay. And what did you say? Like brat. Yeah, brat. Or brat. Well, brat. Cat. No. I said cat in the beginning. Oh, fuck. Um, Matt. I think we're good on Matt. the rhyme. I, I th- Matt. Oh, how did we? How did I? How did I not come up with that? Isn't it crazy that there's people that just rhyme for a living? Songwriters. Yeah, Eminem, Marshall Mathers. Marshall Mathers. Which I chastised you in the uh, after hours, uh, which you can go watch on our Patreon of the last podcast. Uh, that you missed out on getting that sweet, sweet Marshall Mathers skin. They have three separate Eminem skins. I know, dude. I'd Maybe you can help me realize listen, what no, listen, they're referencing. Listen, you... Because I don't really know what era of Eminem each one is referencing, so I want to get to that, and I want you to kind of explain the era. What are they? Okay, so there's there's one where he has very short, blonde hair. Slim Shady. In a hoodie. Okay, Slim Shady. And Slim then, Shady. Then they have another one where it's him with, like, darker hair, and he's wearing a suit and a fedora. Okay, that's that's recent Eminem. That, okay. That's music to be murdered by. Okay. That, and that's then, more recent. And then the third outfit that you can get for him is he's he has blonde, short blonde hair, but he's dressed up as, like... Superhero? A superhero, yeah, like okay. Robin. Kind of like he has a little mask. I forgot what music video that's from, but it's from one of his music videos, I think. Uh, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. This guy. Okay, I'm not an Eminem expert. And you're a Slim Shady expert. I'm a Slim Shady expert. I'm. I'm a. I'm a Shady. Uh, I'm really trying to think of a word that rhymes. That Shady. You can you know slant rhyme it with like crazy. I'm crazy for. I'm shady. crazy for shady. Yeah. Okay. You know, good. Thank you for saving me there. Of course, you threw me a I'm, fucking I'm, life. I'm raft. here whenever you need me at, at any hour of the night, except for uh, in between five a.m. and six a.m. Okay. Well, that's important. Just no, not I know. between those hours. Why? I, I'm not going to get into my private life on the podcast. So, well, remember when I uh, popped a tire? When I was driving uh, back from Sacramento, oh, and uh, it was it was it was a little after 5 a.m. and I was, you know, stuck in the middle of nowhere, and uh, it was raining and I was freezing, and I really needed some help because uh, I just needed you to come like pick me up or something because I, I no one else I knew you were awake, but no one else was. I awake. mean, I and saw you- the call on my phone. I, I had do not disturb on, but I still saw the ringer go off. So you called me twice in a row. I saw, but yeah. Um, I I did choose not to answer it because I was open and honest with you at the beginning of our friendship that as any time you need me, unless it's between the hours of five and six a.m., and that's important to me. Those that one hour of the day. I get it, man. You got to set boundaries. It just kind of sucked. I was uh, I I think I I was almost hypothermic. Um, but it's fine. That's in the past. <laughs> can we just can we just start disguising things as setting boundaries? Can, can like, like uh, when Luke's editing the podcast, I want to set a boundary that, hey, it's just not cool if you don't finish it by Friday. Like, you get finished the final edit. It's just a boundary I'm setting. It Dude, makes me uncomfortable. You if you know? don't finish it in one sitting, it's just like, this is a boundary I'm setting. If you don't finish it in, in one, one, one go, you know. I hate, uh, I, I hate uh, a boundary I'm setting right now is you can't eat spicy food in front of me. It's just a boundary. Just a boundary. I don't like spicy food, and it makes me uncomfortable when other people eat it and enjoy it, and it makes me feel jealous, and it just creates this dichotomy within myself, and I would really feel more comfortable if you could respect my boundary and not eat spicy foods in front of me, because I can't handle them, and seeing that you can makes me jealous. Listen, man. When when we're at the office, man, and you uh you go number two, man, it's just I gotta set a boundary. You just you can't wipe, okay? Like, just please, please don't wipe. That is, when I'm setting a boundary right here, okay? Like okay. like no wiping, no wiping, no all right? Wi- okay, no okay. wiping whatsoever, and no flushing. And I, I that's have, a boundary. I have to set one more boundary. Okay. Um, you can't come at me in a um. You've done this in the past. I don't want you to come at me in an aggressive way if I just happen to leave piss all over the toilet seat. Um, I know that it is, it's something that I did that was wrong, and I should have probably cleaned up the mess, and I say should have very, very strongly there. Uh, but it does make me uncomfortable when you call me out, and it makes me feel bad. So I just want to set that boundary that I don't want you to chastise me for pissing all over the toilet seats at the office. And what about shitting on the toilet seat? Because that's happened twice in the last month. Well, 
I didn't know you had a problem with that because you've never talked about it with me. But now that I know, I want to set a boundary as well that you also can't bring up when I sh- when I get a little bit of fecal matter on the on the on the on the brim of the toilet seat. Okay, fair, fair enough. Uh, you got to set boundaries for your mental health. I understand. Boundaries, baby. <laughs> boundaries, baby. Um, you know, boundless boundaries. There you go. Mm. That's the that's maybe the uh, d- title of this episode. I don't know. No, no, no. I hate it. It's, <laughs> uh, I'm setting a boundary right now that it that cannot be the the name of the episode. I'm sorry. I'm setting a boundary. <laughs> Is there still banana on the side of this computer from the last episode when you were wiping your hands on the computer? No, and you can't prove it. No, I actually will. Dude, Ryan, wait, what is this, dude? <laughs> is a fucking banana, rotting banana peel just on my side table. Just- They're biodegradable. Throw it in the fucking pot. In the potted plant next to your left. It's a fake plant. It's not gonna. It's just gonna rot. We'll throw it on it. the ground. It's biodegradable. That's true. It'll, it'll just... <laughs> it just... How about that? It's just gonna it's gonna dissolve into the carpet. I mean, the carpet's gonna look healthier than ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, it will. But uh, sprinkle a little manure on the carpet, you know. <laughs> Ooh, I want to give uh, everybody listening a, a wonderful update. We are still being uh, blasted with room temperature air. Mm-hmm. It is still not cool uh, back here. It feels a little so better it's, today. Well, it's cool in the definition that Matt and I are back here recording a podcast. That's which, true. That what's cooler cool. than that? Not much. Two guys being dudes recording a podcast. Mm-hmm. But what's not cool in the like very literal sense um, of temperature is is the podcast room and the uncle sleepover slash live stream room. Right. Um, it's been about two weeks. Uh, we did we we did contact uh, the landlord today to inquire to Again. see what's been going on, and he responded with technician is working. So I just have to hope and pray that the technician is working. Dude, are you? But but hold up. Are Can you? I just send back technician broken? <laughs> <laughs> He'd be very confused. Uh, are you feeling it a little cooler though? Like it feels a little cooler in here. Like I'm noticing it. What if technician is working? Technician hold, hold worked. On. The the important thing is. Hold on. I no, got go go check that damn thermostat. The batteries have been changed on it. Okay, so it's not working then. We just have, as I said, just a little bit of cool air blowing on us. I mean, not cool air, just root, just just root, yeah, just, just air. temperature, just air, just 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 air, man. You know, I, you know, we should challenge ourselves actually, where we should do a podcast where we turn the heat all the way up. It's all air, man. Mm, mm. <laughs> no, mm-hmm. come on. No. A for effort. A plus for effort. The plus is for the effort. The A is well. The for A is how good effort. it was. Well, if we if if we're going by that standard, I'd give you a a C plus. C for how good it was, but a plus for the effort. I'll try harder. I will. I mean, it's only the third episode. I need to warm back into the swing of things of recording a podcast. I know we haven't recorded podcast. I mean, we're 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 basically new to this. No oh, shit. What? What's wrong? This actually, I did just notice a problem that that I have that I'm going to have to talk to my therapist about. It's the monitor in the shot again? No, no. It's the fact that the Fortnite item shop refreshes every day at around 5 p.m. And oh, is it 5 now because of daylight savings? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's not 4 anymore. No, which gets in the middle of my appointments. So Yeah, in the middle of your therapy. You're going to have to be a little late, right? Shit. I mean, could I just cancel? I could just cancel. Just cancel. Therapy. Just cancel. Right. Let, let me... You don't need to... On. Th- honestly, uh, I told my therapist to get bent and shove it, and I've never been happier. I set a boundary with my therapist. I said, no more therapy, okay? Hold on. This just... therapy stuff, not for me. I, I, I actually feel like I need to call my therapist because it's important. Like, what if something g- cool pops in the shop and I'm not the first, like, I'm not, I'm not like, there? Yeah, no, I understand. You'd feel like you, uh, <sighs> I mean, it, it's still gonna, it would still be there, technically, mm-hmm. like, after th- your therapy appointment but I get what you're saying you know it's like you want to you want to experience it first with everyone else you don't want to feel left out you don't want FOMO I was gonna text him but I'll, I'll just call him it's more time. it's more professional yeah, to call let me just call him hold on I mean they could bring in like a new fish stick style or something hey Dr. Uh, 
Oh, well, actually, I was just I was just saying that I just realized that um, uh, that the Fortnite item shop refreshes at 5 p.m. every day now because of the daylight savings time change. And I know that's when our sessions are. And I was just uh, calling uh, to say if I, to see if I could reschedule um, because I'm going to have to cancel that appointment. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I think we could reschedule. Now, Ryan, while I have you here on the phone, how are you feeling about the Fortnite item shop being pushed back an hour? Uh, I mean, I think that's something that I want to save for the sessions. I don't want to get in, get into my like, emo- like get into it too much on on like a public podcast. You sure? I'm here right now. No, I I feel you, and I and I would hope that you know you're not charging me for this time. Uh, oh, no, but I, I am. We're charging by 15 minutes. Oh um, well, but, just I I just can't make it today. That's all. I, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, but well, I well, well, I have you here. How do you feel about Eminem now being out of the shop? I heard that your friend Matt missed it. Yeah, I was just talking to him about that. Yeah, he. Do you think you could? Uh, what do you want to take my place today? Take my five p.m. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, could I, Matt actually come? Uh, could take like take my place, take my session, so he could talk to you about the M M&M and M skin no longer being in the item shop? Absolutely, because I'm sure he's distraught. You know. Sweet. Okay. I, yeah, I am very distraught. Perfect. Yeah, he keeps saying that he'll put up a computer. I, I, as, again, sorry, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to gossip uh, dur- on a, on a public podcast about stuff that should remain in therapy. But uh, and I, I seem to remember you talking about some stupid program he kept talking about where his some what didn't you have a program like actually titled like some stupid pro- like s- something like that? Like literally, it was titled that. That's that's what he was talking about. Okay. Well. Um, uh, yeah. Um, well, cool. Your therapist sounds like a nice uh, gentleman. And I I'm can a- make the item shop without feeling too stressed, and I know that my buddy Matt is gonna get the 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 help he needs to get over the fact that he is now twice missed M M&M and M in an item shop. It hurts, you know, and it's it's. I'm mad at myself more than anything. I'm not mad. At, I'll save it for therapy. Okay, I'll I'll save it for therapy. Um, what are you sipping on over there, man? What's it, what's in that cup? You got you, dude. You got two drinks, two beverages. Well, I have a monster, uh, a a white monster. Yeah, you're a not white to monster. be confused with uh, my stepdad. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you you uh, was I not supposed to laugh at that? No, 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 no. no. I was just saying you, you made the joke in the middle of me like setting it up and then not being able to it just. No, I I, I feel like then it shows that you got the joke out first. I didn't mean to steal your. Really I didn't know you were going to make the joke. No, that's why I did it. It's fine. It's fine. But I'm also the the second drink that I have is is my is is water to help hydrate me after drinking the monster. Okay. I'm I got a over here. I got a an orange monster. Uh, orange monster. What? It, what it, is this? Donald Trump, <laughs> who has been announced as being the Republican nominee for 2024. Yep, and, and Biden is the Democratic one, so we got a rematch, baby. America loves their sequels. They, they, yeah. It's this is uh, this is Trump v Biden two, Electric Boogaloo, the Squeakquel, Chipwrecked, uh, an election where nobody wins. Yep. Uh, also, the laptop has uh, a screensaver came up, and I want to make sure it's still recording. Want me audio. to go? Want me to go? Uh, yeah, touch go, it? go touch it. Yeah, just throw that down. Still going? Yep. Beautiful. Man, I bet you guys missed that. Ryan, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Oh, my fucking God. He's he's checking the laptop, bends over, <laughs> drops his gym shorts. What? Spreads his ass and just, just shakes shakes it and his, and his nuts are flopping. <laughs> no, I didn't. I can't prove it technically, yeah, I guess. Yeah, you can't. So why are you saying these things to an audience of five million? Just to piss you off. Just to piss you the fuck off. There's got to be one person out there that heard the five million comment and just went, okay, you wish, buddy. Does, do they actually think, <laughs> I'm going to see like something on like uh, a website called Reddit. Do they really think they get five million viewers? Shows the egocentrism that's working in the new super <laughs> mega fantasy factory. <laughs> five million? It, you know, it's kind of along the same lines as a Holocaust denier. 
uh, people that would would post that kind of stuff. It's like five million, you know, maybe five thousand, but. <laughs> Sure. I would say, yeah, that's probably right in line with the with the, with the Holocaust. Denying yeah. denying the size of our audience <laughs> is very similar. Is in to, line with denying the Holocaust. Yeah, you wouldn't deny the Holocaust, would you? Never. So why would you deny us of our audience? Exactly, the two are related. Well, no, 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 no. Our audience is not related I'm sure to the we Holocaust, have, but I'm sure we have. No, didn't the I was about to say I'm sure there's you know one person out there that you know lived in around that time that survived the Holocaust that got to watch a episode of the super mega cast but i thought like wasn't it at some point recently like the last surviving holocaust survivor passed away or something or no i don't think so maybe i'm making that up maybe you're just misleading our audience well now i gotta look it up or else or else i'm just i'm just maybe it's like the last nazi guard or something mayhaps uh Last known Holocaust survivor, David Walnerman, has died. And this was September 4th, 2023. Oldest Holocaust survivor turns 112 amid rise in anti-Semitism, January 22nd, 2024. That doesn't make sense, though, because the Holocaust was in the 40s. No, but like, the, I mean, I'm, I just read two things back to back that contradicted each other. Yeah. One headline says... Last known Holocaust survivor has died. Known and then the, Holocaust survivor. Then the next one is oldest Holocaust survivor turns 112 amid rise in anti-Semitism. 112. I do want to say that uh, happy birthday to Rose, who turned 112. Wow. You've seen a lot of the world, and we, uh, we, we uh, can we get some, some confetti to <laughs> shout sure. up? I know you're probably watching, Rose, and we appreciate your support. Thank you, Rose. Uh, <laughs> we really you, appreciate it, and uh, we'll be sending in some merch your way. Uh, <laughs> hey, we're sorry about what happened at the Holocaust. <laughs> sorry Here, about that. Here's some merch to make your day brighter. Well, who are these people? Uh, 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 soup, super mega. <laughs> yeah, it's just, she'd probably love it. She, you know, she's like, she's dude. She's 112 years old. You know, it's like. She's probably not got not a lot of time left, so you know a gift is a gift. You know she probably really appreciates. Uh, she she she's found a new appreciation in life, being the the ripe old age of a hundred and twelve. And which probably, I don't know too many people enjoy ages above a hundred, honestly, or even no, ninety. Well, I was about to say ninety, but my grandmother is over ninety years old, and she's still like not not like quick or anything. But she gets around. She she's she's still some you know some somewhat mobile. She's mentally quick as well. I, I she's she's a wonderful woman, and I and I love her very much. She's quick in the sheets as well. In fact, she's she's such a a, a a matriarch to our to our family unit that I I I I always say that I've told her this too that she's just gonna out outlive us all, the whole family. She's still gonna be alive when when you're 92. Yeah. Although I, I I actually don't wish that upon her because that would be very depressing. What? So like, what? <laughs> just watching all of your family die before you, like expecting like, oh, you know, oh, all of my grandkids too, they're gone. What would happen? Like, maybe this is Rose's case. You know, you're getting older and you pass a hundred, and you're like, damn, well. Any day now. I guess next year. I, I I don't think I'll make it to 101. I mean, you hit 101, and then you're like, wow. Okay, 101. And then you hit, like, 112, and you're like, okay, what's going on here? Because, like, there's a, there's a, there's kind of a, I guess a graph of uh, your mental state and your age. And some people get, get lucky in their, in their mental state. Great song. Get lucky, up all night. Is that what you were referencing? Mm-hmm. Nice. Um, some people get lucky and they get to keep their like mental wherewithal throughout even their nineties. Um, I, I just talked about my grandmother, uh, who who's like, I, it sounds weird. Cause I'm like, she's still able to have conversation. Like I don't. It's like <laughs> it's, like I'm talking down, but like I know from experience because my other grandmother wasn't as lucky and ha- had dementia and so right. and my grandfather before her had dementia yeah um and uh my grand my, another one of my grandfathers he uh he like i think he 
fell one day like out at the grocery store and then just had a physical decline like a fast rapid dude that's what happens when you're old a lot of people aren't lucky in their old age so i find it something to celebrate if you're able to not only like at least get up and shuffle around but like have full conversations and talk and laugh yeah this is all your your brain is the past and stuff so dude that's the scary thing about being old is uh you can like slip on an ice cube and that's you're it. Fucked. That's it. Like because you can no longer walk anymore, or for that like m- those months of healing that you would usually yeah. get, like if if you or I tripped and fell, we uh, worst case scenario we go to like physical therapy or break something a bone for a or month something. or something. Ow. Yeah, and it, and it heals and mends. But when you're old, that shit does not heal or does not mend to the to the ability to where you can use that shit again. Mm-hmm. So if you fall at an old age. It, it, that, that's a lot of the times isn't that like a lot of the Usually like what accidents. happens yeah it's like there's a fall and then a deterioration Decline. from there it's like the fall is uh you know i i've seen it so many times with like friends and stuff where uh they're the, one of their grandparents will you know fall you know go trip going up the stairs or something and then next thing you know it's like they break their hip and usually if you're like super old a broken hip is a death sentence because you're just like you can't move around anymore and just everything else starts to go which is really really crazy because our bodies are so strong otherwise like your body except for my back apparently yeah oh sorry except for specifically the uh the gel in between your uh spinal Mm -hmm. column shit are you still getting back shots uh no i only remember if you ever listen to me I only got one back in the day. You only got back shots once? Mm-hmm. Okay. Did it, and, and you didn't... But So you don't listen to me when I talk. Because we've talked about this, and I've said I've only gotten one, and now you're asking if I've only gotten one again, as if you weren't there holding my hand during the first one? Well, how can I forget, dude? You squeezed my hand until it was fucking purple. And I, and I told the doctor, I want him to give me the shot. He's the only one I trust. Well, I, you know, I've never given a shot before, so that was uh, you giving me back shots at the doctor off at the doctor's office was probably like the most uh, like friendship bonding right holding moment hands. I could have had. Oh yeah, holding hands, giving you back shots. Uh, one back shot. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't, I didn't mean this. One in singular total. back shot. Yeah, uh, I didn't go in for a second back shot. Well, technically, it was it, I did give you multiple back shots because I, you know, because you wanted me to do it. I, I missed several times and the doctor tried to help and say let me let me help guide you and you slapped his hand Mm -hmm. away and said if i allow you to guide me then where was that friendship energy exactly we've always discussed even in our past let's plays and stuff that you and i have this friendship energy that that we can tap into and hone in on especially in co-op games it's like a it's like a secret power you know that that no one else has but us i hope there's i hope uh you know we that friendship energy lasts till till we're till we're old and gray. I think it will. I can't imagine it wouldn't. But I, I what, what what at what age do you think? Even let's say you're mentally fine. At what age do you think you're like okay? I don't want to be here because eventually you physically won't be able to like do much I besides think, sit and watch stuff. I don't know if it's like an an age number thing. I think it's more about uh, your health. Because like, like you said with your grandma, you could, like if you're still quick witted and uh, and I didn't say quick witted, I mean quick witted. Yes. Uh, if you're still quick witted and uh, you got your health at 95, then you know you probably aren't like, oh, please God, any day. But uh, if you're, you, you know, you could be 80 and have horrible health and be like, all right, I'm ready to go. Uh, so I think it's more about like how you're how you are. That's that's probably like for me, I'll probably reach that point once. Uh, a, uh, I've outlived. If 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 I end up outliving all my friends, uh, and B, uh, probably if my wife, you know, if my wife dies, I'm probably ready after that. You know, that there's also like a thing where, um, mm-hmm. you know, what I'm about to say is like when one significant other dies in a long lasting old marriage, then the other person kind of loses not the will to live, but they just don't. They, it's like one always goes right after because I because at that point, you know, you're old and you're 
kids are living their own lives with their own kids. Everyone, you know, the people still, t- you know, you probably still communicate and talk and stuff, but what your life was about, what you mainly focused on and the people that you could connect with that are like within that same age range has depleted drastically. Yeah. What is that about? Like there there has to be some kind of like actual explanation for for why sorry i just made a uh, an astonished face and i'll and i'll update you on why soon but finish okay yeah uh there's got to be like some explanation on why when an old couple when one of them dies the other one always goes my grandpa died like a week after my grandma died my grandma died and then my grandpa was like okay i'm dead too my uh that's what he said my grandma my dad's side the one that ended up getting dementia she didn't like really show any symptoms or signs until after my grandfather passed but not just that she kind of did and not to get too personal but she did kind of become from my perspective at least kind of a shell of the energy that she displayed that's usually what happens because them both together they were always cracking wise with each other and stuff so while it wasn't like a week or anything after he passed, it was it was some years after, there was still a very um, noticeable mental that led to like a physical decline just because it's just like she was always just kind of like thinking about the past. That's what it seems. She would just sit down and kind of like stare off to like open air and just think a lot more. I, I guess another thing probably is, you know, you get sick a lot as an old person and when you get it's like, oh, next time I get sick, it's like, oh, I, I don't need to treat it. Like, we don't need to do this whole thing. I can just go, you know? Yeah. But what did you make the uh, the face oh, at? Oh, the astonished face. The astonished Since face. we're talking about old age, I just wanted to get a recap of uh, the ages of the two people that could potentially be leading our country. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got Donald Trump at 77 years old. Okay. Then we have Joseph Biden, Robinette Biden, Don't Robinette Biden, name. at 80, 81 years old, seventy seven and eighty fucking one. Has there ever been a presidential race where both of the nominees should be put in a home? <laughs> like, I don't think so, because Biden is the oldest president America's ever had, uh, and I think Trump is second oldest. So. Trump, need, Trump was the oldest, I think, until Biden came along. There needs to be a fucking cutoff. You they're, know? they're 100% Just like needs how it's to be what, a cutoff. It's like 35 to become president, and then it needs to cut off at 70. I think I think 70 I, is a good cutoff. Personally, I think it should be cut off around 65. That's what I was going to say. But 70, just to, some people are still pretty, you know, up there. Yeah, and, and dude, it's like the people that are in charge of, like, one of the world's superpowers, like— they could be suffering from dementia and having a mental decline. The people that are in charge of nuclear weapons well, that me, have the the call to launch nuclear weapons without Jesus. congressional. So he Biden is eighty one years old and his birthday's in November. He was born in nineteen forty two. <laughs> to put it in perspective, that's before we dropped the bomb. I know, <laughs> uh, but so by the time he would get his second term, he would be eighty two, right? Which means by the time. He His finishes. term ends. He's going to be eighty fucking six years old, almost dude. 90. Almost ninety, and like with Trump, let me do the same thing. I don't. Oh, I know Trump's birthday by heart because it's June fourteenth. Because you're, you're a big fan. <laughs> well, it's he sh- I share a birthday with right. him. Um, I don't know what year he was born, but he's seventy-seven. Yeah, he's seventy-seven. Well, I can't do the math, and so. I don't. I don't feel like I don't. I don't feel like straining my brain to the point where I become non-vocal. That's that's what it would take for me to rhyme. do that math. Thank I mean, you. we could go non-vocal for a second and both try our hardest, but let, let's not. But uh, Trump is turning 78 this year come June. Um, so that means by the end of his, if he wins this term, by the end of his next term, he's going to be 82, which is just, again, both of those are insane. Like running a country at the in your eighties is ridiculous. It's so crazy, and uh, you know what's crazy is I watched. You can find it on YouTube. I watched a news report about when Biden was elected for the first time as a senator, and uh, it's in black and white. So, like, 
it's literally before color television. And also, I don't know how much of this is political, but I see people on both sides saying that they're both showing signs of dementia or Alzheimer's. And That's I don't know how saying. much of that is like a political uh, attack or how much of it is actually like true. But regardless, we, we shouldn't be boiling it down to two old fucking men. No, I I think uh, to two kind women of, fucking to, maybe no. okay maybe yeah. because that's fun and 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 beneficial for their mental health and for the country. Sex is beneficial for your mental health. Mm-hmm. I, I I'm scared of it, but I mean I don't I don't have any any data to kind of prove that. But it is a surge of dopamine most Dude, of the time. I when guess I, when I get some monkey, my mood goes from here to here. Let okay? me get to you and that monkey. Let me get to you and that monkey. Yeah, no, it goes like that. But but like. People of Biden and Trump's age, or any politician around there that still has, like, uh, even talking about the the Supreme Court justices and shit like mm-hmm. that, a lot of these people work to an age where most people are retired well well before that age. People are and not in their only 60s that, usually. but th- I think like Trump and Biden should be just spending time with their families, should just be chilling at home. Uh, relaxing with uh, their 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 children and their grandkids or whatever. I don't I don't I don't think they need to be ping ponged around, uh, not like shuffling around ping pong, not knowing what's going on on a day to day basis. Uh, they're both obviously right now very led by kind of extreme just brain deterioration. Just because they, one, work in the public eye, they're politicians, and they're the old, they're, they're, they're stressed, they're old as fuck, not like sympathizing with them, but just more so saying these people should not be the ones in charge of very serious fucking situations. I don't know if that's a hot take or not, but... You're, so you're saying the people that are at the age where you show signs of dementia shouldn't be the ones who can make the call to launch nuclear weapons? No. <laughs> okay, Ryan. I don't think they should be in charge or in the conversation in making decisions for any kind of like geopolitical bullshit that's yeah, going on. Yeah, yeah. Dude, we, you know what would be awesome? If, if we elected, you know, someone young and hip as president, like uh, Daniel Tosh or Rob Deerdeck. Yes. You know? Well, I guess like what I'm missing is at least the facade of passion presidents would have about topics like i don't even get that like i don't get the feeling that biden or trump are passionate about any of the like kind of uh uh the the political leanings of their parties i just they're a politician so they're just well Trump is a more new to the game, I guess, in in his in his in his young years. He's a businessman. <laughs> He's a businessman, but they. Uh, long story short, fuck, fuck, fuck. That's that's my thoughts on this next election. It's gonna be an epic election cycle, ladies and gentlemen. If you thought twenty twenty was crazy, just wait for the sequel. For some pones, maybe some. Get my name out of your mouth, Jack. Keep my name out that fucking mouth. Tell your son to stop doing drugs, bitch. What, is he running against Bill Clinton? (laughs) (laughs) I guess I didn't do that. I did a very bad uh, Trump impression. (laughs) You you, you tell that that little boy of yours to stop smoking crack. Stop smoking crack and, and, and boning sex workers, mate. Mate. Uh, well, I think this is as good of any as a time to go to a uh, commercial break. Why you give me that look? I thought I just went to commercial. Sorry, yes, now is a good time to go to commercial break. I thought it just went after you said that. Now is as good a time as any to go to com- Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, Remind me, I'm not using that mic. I'm not. Or, or we're changing the, the mic cover on it. Okay, yeah, sure. We just 
should just solidify this as my mic. Yeah, that's that's your I mic. I keep doing this thing where I'm like talking and I'm like moving the mic around. And I'm, I should keep it here. I keep that shit locked. I should keep it here so the fans can hear me crystal clear. Crystal clear, my man. Clear in here, by the way. That's a rhyme. Mm-hmm. Clear in here. I just wanted to say that we're still on our game. So the retention should still be going up every now and then when you see us rhyme. Listen, man, we're clear and we're here for years. I'm Claritin clear. <laughs> it's the way you said that with like a very straight face. Just I'm Claritin clear. <laughs> a doctor telling you that. Like I've got some bad news. It uh, <laughs> appears you're Claritin clear. Is uh, is is Ellen still Claritin clear? Oh yeah, Ellen. I mean, <laughs> Ellen is uh, no, actually, dude. If you look at what Ellen looks like nowadays, Ellen looks like she's dealing with some serious allergies. <laughs> well, El- Ellen has always. I was surprised to hear Ellen's age for the first time. This was like probably even a decade ago when I found out how old. Like, put up a picture of the gorgeous Ellen DeGeneres. Can you believe this is a? 66 okay it makes sense now when i was younger i was a little more flabbergasted because she was always dancing and had dude blonde she was hair dancing like crazy so like you know 10 years ago and i'm like she's almost 60 but i guess now 66 it does kind of match and again before anyone comes crawling us i am not you know uh chastising her for being an old broad uh, those were quotes that I that old broad as that that's what people might take away from what I'm saying. I'm saying that she's an old Ellen, <laughs> and she's not very Claritin clear. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. That you know that like picture where it's like I guess she's been crying. I'm not sure, but it's like her <laughs> her eyes are red. It she and she has like dark circles under her eyes. Like she does not look like she's Claritin clear. One hundred percent looks like like she looks like she basically just just. Put her face into like uh, a just a, like a like a container of pollen and just rubbed it around. Was uh, was she a part of the celebrity sing along back when it's like? Whoa, whoa. Imagine all the people. It's easy if you. Yes. You know my you know my favorite. I bet she was my oh. favorite celebrity during that is Mark Ruffalo's uh, inclusion. Have Have you seen Mark Ruffalo's part? Let me watch this. Let me see. Should uh, we just pull it up? Yeah, but we don't have speakers set up. Never mind, yeah. So how about you pull it up? Or maybe I can find, because I don't want you to watch the whole thing to find Mark Ruffalo. Yeah. Mark Ruffalo's part is by far the best in this. I think I've talked about it before. I might have shown you. Uh, hold up one second. Uh, <laughs> imagine. Why did they do that? No. Whose idea was that? <laughs> <laughs> and like they're all singing in like different keys and shit. Imagine it was for COVID, right? Like yeah, it, was, it was like it was because they were all sad that they couldn't work, and it was to boost morale they, of, the, <laughs> of the world of the working class. We are the world. That was they, that's the modern. We are the world. Dude, internet oh, back here sucks. Here I cannot load it. Hold on, I'm I'm scrubbing through there it. We go. Twenty five celebrities sing "Imagine" in isolation, creating a moving montage. Okay, I found it. Uh, well, I want I want the lead up to Mark Ruffalo is important. Okay. Be, okay. Just cuz <laughs> Okay, hold on. Let's see. Imagine no possession. Pedro Pascal. Mm-hmm. I wonder if you can No need for greed and hunger. Brotherhood of man. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like he's he's like in one of the worst angles like obviously in bed and i like i don't have a problem with mark ruffalo mark ruffalo <laughs> seems to be like for great causes right, right. he uh he was in poor uh, he was in recently poor things which i really liked he's the incredible hulk in the marvel movies <laughs> re- uh replacing uh Edward Norton, but just brotherhood of men. Like I love that. Sorry, I'm gonna have to watch it one more. It's really time. good, dude. I, I really <laughs> like it. It's like he just woke up hungover and saw like his agents. Like, hey, Mark, you got to do this. Uh, no just... need for greed and hunger. Brotherhood of men. <laughs> <laughs> it's also kind of quiet where it's like it's almost, it's almost like he's trying not to wake up his wife next to him or something <laughs> like she's still asleep and he doesn't want to bother her <laughs> brotherhood of man 
Dude, the way he uh, he belts it is fucking fantastic. Uh, I love that. But it was it's actually surprising to see some of the people who did that and didn't like kind of raise an eyebrow and go, "Is this tone deaf?" Like Will Ferrell's in it. Yeah, they're uh, pretty tone deaf, all right. Pedro Pascal. You know what I like? Uh, Sarah Silverman's part. She's she the whole time she's like looking to off screen, like she has to read the lyrics. <laughs> Like, for, for this one line she has to sing, she's reading these lyrics, like, Imagine no possessions. I mean, there's there's so many celebrities in that video, dude, that they're just showing off. They, they like to throw in the Sarah Paulson. <laughs> Is she in it? I think so. I like Sarah Paulson. I like her, too. As I said, like, I don't have a problem with these, with, with these people, actors. Why didn't they ask us? <laughs> I, to, I don't know. I, th- I think, well, okay, I will say... That it seems like a lot of people, and by people I mean online content creators slash YouTubers, mm-hmm. are starting to break into the mainstream a little bit. Oh, yeah. And uh, we don't need any more evidence of that than uh, Josh Peck being in Oscar-nominated Oppenheimer and King Batch being in the Walking Dead series. <laughs> Why? Why did they choose him? <laughs> My favorite thing with King Batch in The Walking Dead is that he still has his pencil thin goatee, like <laughs> Like, have you seen a? Have you yeah, seen yeah, a, yeah. No, okay. I saw it. Was like it was like first images of King Batch. <laughs> He's and, like wearing a cowboy hat. Yeah, and he looks clean as hell. Yeah, he it looks doesn't slick. look like they threw dirt on him or anything. Yeah, yeah, he looks pretty good. Or maybe you know he hasn't been in a fight in the community that they're in. They shower a lot. I don't know. I like I, I haven't caught up with The Walking Dead since probably like season. Five or six or some shit like that. And my favorite, uh, my favorite line from Josh Peck's performance in Oppenheimer, uh, which he, you know, he had a pretty, pretty, you know, a big performance he in did. that movie. Uh, my favorite line is when he goes, "Ah oh, man." I, I look, I, I, I get it because I want to preface this by saying I understand his excitement, but it was kind of funny because I think he released. I don't think he was at the Oscars. But he released Josh like a, Peck wasn't at the Oscars. Yeah, I don't think wasn't so. he nominated for Best Actor for his role in Oppenheimer? Best Supporting Actor. <laughs> <laughs> but beats on Killian Murphy. He was like he was like uh, saying how proud is like I never thought I would have been here to be in an no- Oscar nominated film. And I'm like in my head, you know, the little internet voice, you know, the little internet rapscallion in me is like, uh-huh. dude, calm down. Like I don't see, I don't think, you know, every extra in Oppenheimer is like. Damn, it's good work that we're doing. <laughs> good job, this team. This is what I'm going to be remembered for. Probably. And maybe he will. That's what Josh Josh Peck, you know, his his role in Oppenheimer has completely overwritten Drake and Josh. Let or me see. his uh his days with David Dobrik and crew. Oh, I forgot he was a he was just kind of attaching himself to every everyone and anyone, wasn't he? Not us. Why didn't he attach himself to Super Mega? The Funny Brothers? We not is he too good for us? Oh, sorry. What the hell was that? Oh, this is the one that I'm talking about. Is that what's happening? 100%. And yeah. what gave you the confidence? Um, delusion? Is that what's happening? 100%. I didn't even recognize him. Well, he looks good. Yeah, he's lost a lot of weight, dude. That's why he looks good? No, well, that's not that what's happening. care of his skin? It's just I didn't recognize him. His skin is, is clear, you know? <laughs> he's on that actor... Regiment now, you know, he's putting lotions on his face. Dude, I got lotion in my eye the other night when I was uh, putting on like a face moisturizer before bed. Holy shit. It, it, I was I was crying these big old tears. I couldn't get it out of my eye because I had like a big glob on my finger and I was trying to get it under my eye and I just straight up, I missed and I poked my eye with the huge glob of lotion while it was wide open. Do just, you ever have those moments where like if you're like, I don't put in contacts or anything, but like if you are putting on like skin stuff, if you're trying to like maybe even get something out of an eyelash you'll have that moment where it's almost like you just spasm and it's just you like actually just yeah. like a little bit just poke yourself in the eye for no reason i feel like that's uh the, i'm lucky i could have been blind by the way and talking about poking people in eyes that could be like the the dark side of of you like dark ryan inside coming out like oh, <laughs> dude when i was young i was uh i think this was probably because of the first Sam Raimi Spider-Man, maybe, with the Goblin Glider, and it's like sharp knives and uh, Spider-Man doing a backflip. But when I was younger, it must have been in like middle school or something, I took a kitchen knife, and I laid down, and I was like in an action movie, and I was like, 
like it was like falling in slow motion. I'm like, I'm gonna get out of the way. And there was this one point where like I felt the tip of the knife touch my eye a, a little bit, and I freaked out. I was like, "Fuck!" Like I didn't mean it to get that low. I didn't know it was that close to my eye. Just some stupid dude. Kid. I, I thought you would like move out of the way when it's like three inches from your face, not when it's literally like millimeters. No, it's because in those cool movies, like stuff stops like right, right before right. the eye, and I was just kind of making that up. But like I, every now and then, I'll I'll be in bed or I'll just be driving or doing something, and that memory will pop into my head of like, "Damn." That could have been a moment where my dad comes home and like there's a lot of people that experience this where their kid does something stupid because they're not being watched and y you can't watch your kid all the time. And it's not like I was a baby. Right. I was, in, as I said, probably like elementary, middle, whenever. No, 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 no. Spider-Man came out around 2001. One. Right. So I was I was probably in ele late elementary school at this point. Oh, OK. But I don't think that I think I. I but I had both of my eyes. Were you in high school? I was not in high school. You can be honest. I wasn't. Was this 11th grade? It wasn't because I wasn't in high school because this is back at my uh, dad's old place. Gotcha. We had moved by then. Gotcha. Yeah, dude. I, I love, <laughs> like, were you just feeling like you were living on the edge doing that? Like, yeah. Did, did like, it feel badass <clears throat> when the knife was slowly going towards you? <laughs> like, did well, it feel cool? Yes. Uh, to answer your question, Matthew, it did feel cool. It felt like, uh, you know, when you're on the... When you're on the playground, it's. I did the same thing with like Harry Potter. I didn't bring a knife to the playground. <laughs> but, <laughs> Guys, check this out. But like you know, when you see Harry Potter fall off his broom, kind of, and he's holding he's on, hanging on, yeah. And you go onto like the monkey bars, and you kind of do the same thing where you're like, ah, yep. You're like shaking your legs, and you kind of pretend that you're up like five stories or something. Yeah, I know exactly. It was in the vein of that, except it was a knife, a real knife, and <laughs> coming close to my eye. I just remember that moment of panic when I felt the tip touch my eyeball a little bit oh my god dude i i just like i, I can't believe you got it that close well i was just kind of because i couldn't because i couldn't tell that it was like that close because like think about right your depth at perception some, at, at that some level. point it becomes like you just touched your eye i did you just touch your eyeball i'll do it again did you mean to do that don't do don't, don't touch your eye stop it ew can you just pull the whole thing out real quick Ah. <laughs> well, for the audio listeners, you just missed Ryan touching his eyeball. Do you think uh, that there's a good angle? Did I get a good angle of me touching my eyeball? It, it probably, yeah. I think that I think that the camera definitely picked that up. Okay, good. I did a lot of stupid shit as a kid too. Like, did you ever do the pass out game where you just hold your breath? Where you, you go? I I told a story about oh, this too. Oh, and you too. stand up and blow on your. It's the one blow where you on like your squat thumb. down. Mm -hmm. And you, no, it's well, you start out going. You like hyperventilate right, a lot. Right. You and take then you deep breaths. Blow really hard on your thumb, and then you pass out. You want to do it, it now? No, I've never it's done bad it. Bad for your brain. I've never done it. It's Apparently, bad. it's bad for your brain. I could try it real quick and see if it's bad for my okay. brain. Okay. So what I read is you're supposed to like, supposed to like squat down like this. I never squatted down. I did this like in my chair in class on like two separate occasions. I Once, the second time. I, a scene accidentally was made and I got embarrassed but the first time was in an English class and I did it and I remember like waking up from a nap and then it all coming together I was like did it work and my friend was like oh, yeah don't do it Matt it's actually not good oh <laughs> what <laughs> Matt, Matt just uh Matt just uh, bent down, hyperventilated a little bit, and then sucked on his thumb. So blew on his I thumb. I blew on my thumb. Wow. I Okay, I didn't pass out, but I did uh, go blind for a second. You know when, like, the sparkles? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. What you're supposed to do, what I read Don't, is, no. What you're not supposed to do any You don't of want this. me to give the instructions? No, I don't, I don't want anyone to do that. That's why, I, deplete that's why I prefaced this with saying I did a lot of stupid stuff as a kid. Well, it did, it did work. I will say it, it was a little delayed. Like, I, I blew on my thumb, and then... It took about two seconds, but then all of a sudden, it was just like, <laughs> how about you blow on a little something I call God's thumb? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I put it a holes reference in there. A holes some reference word in it. Play, There's a talking it's a fellatio joke. You sucking on my penis. Yeah. <laughs> and you even you even did the you even did the the you know you put your you put your thumb in place of where your penis would be. Yep. So so it, it really like even if someone didn't get the joke by hearing it, vi visually they would have been like, oh yeah. 
yeah. and I and I don't want to disappoint you or anything. When I when I do this, it, that is not an accurate representation of the size of my penis. I don't want you to feel like you're getting all of this. Um, that is a lot. When uh, it's it's if 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 I were to do a more accurate representation. Yeah. I'm doing it right now. Got you. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. God's thumb. <laughs> Calling your penis God's thumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> See now every time you watch Holes You're gonna remember that moment When, when he's like God stop <laughs> Just gonna think of your penis Just gonna think of Ryan The Ryan McGinnis That's what I call it The McGinnis dude You know uh, we, <laughs> Honestly You know Instead of the You know Trump and Biden Trying to become president Why don't people just sit them down Give them some warm milk And a blankie And have them watch Holes and maybe maybe they'd learn a little something or two. They'd get along after that. Because there's the theme of uh, Sigourney Weaver's character wasting her whole life and her grandfather wasting his whole life yep. looking for this treasure that they never, ever really found. Never. And the treasure that they're searching for seems to be uh, acceptance by the masses. I really think like politicians, most of them, of course, aren't in it for the good. They're just in it for like... Money, power. Yeah, they're they're kind of like Babes. a bigger form of, of of streamers in a sense. It's it's all about <laughs> like uh, self congratulatory ego. Yeah, it's very you know? just ego. Look at this mass that I have, especially for Trump. It's just like look at this fan base that I've accumulated that I can send like a dog to people. If, right. Uh, yeah. They disagree with me or don't like what I do. Exactly. Now, that's actually a very good comparison. The world became a better place when we stopped having adult conversations. Real quick, going back to the McGinnis. Uh, a lot of you, yeah. This McGinnis? That, that McGinnis. A lot, of, <laughs> a lot of people really, in the most recent mail video, a lot of people really thought that that was real. A lot of people thought that was, I wish it was. Well, so what I, what I, uh, basically, dude, I was sitting here at 4 a.m., uh, I mean, when I watched it the first time, it had already because like <laughs> you added that edit late at night before I like watched it before it went live. Because like I, I had been editing it like probably like earlier that week, and yeah, then you yeah. wanted to do a pass, and during your pass, this is one of the edits you added late at night. <laughs> and so when I'm watching it live, I look, I'm like, oh, it's like the same reaction uh, you probably had when I when I censored you out with your amiibos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's like so. Basically, no, that was not Ryan's real penis. When I when I pull the the homemade pocket pussy off, it's it's the it's the way it flops paired with the foom. Uh, well, you and I really do like uh, not just like creating like a fake penis or something. We like adding a little bit of motion. I mean, ever since we were working with Game Grumps, and I added that penis on Sonic that, exactly. that flopped around. So what I so actually, it's, it was quite an intricate process how I created this edit. You you found a real penis. It's a real penis I found on Google Images, <laughs> and I went in Photoshop, and I you know well it, it's a penis covering half of the balls. Mm -hmm. So I cut the penis out separate from the balls, but then uh, then then I used uh, the, like the the warp tool basically to make it have different uh, shapes. Uh, so, so, you know, it, it has the floppy motion and then I had to use content aware fill to complete the rest of the balls that were missing. <laughs> okay. So, uh, then what I did was I, did you separate the shaft and the balls on different, different layers? Different layers. Okay. Yeah. And wait, then, were the balls on one or did you have each ball? on? No, 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 no. Balls were just okay. one. And then I set the anchor point of the penis to the base. So then I could yep. rotate it around. Uh, and then I made a couple frames and then I put it in premiere then I made it small, and I motion tracked it to your groin region. Uh, then I then I put a little bit of a. It uh, looks really good. It does look really it real. It looks very to be real. And I I was sitting here at four a.m. cracking myself <laughs> up, dude. I'm sitting here making myself dizzy, <clears throat> laughing so hard at this, boing, the way it flops <laughs> and the fucking the sound effect. Um, and then it was only the next day. I was like, ah, man, maybe I should have <laughs> maybe made should've the, sensor that a little, little more, more. <laughs> because like. I guess uh, when I'm watching it on my computer screen, it's pretty big, so the pixels look big, and I'm like, oh yeah. But then when you watch it on a small phone, uh, you it's almost like you're squinting your eyes a little bit, and you can see. Uh, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah you rip. You I got the movement down. The movement was really thank you. Spot on. I went in the bathroom it's, it's, and it's, I, I, it's I good to kind of do the the. Uh the old super mega style again. Yeah. It, like passing a video back and forth. It's fun. Yeah. I, I missed it. I, I did too. That's what uh, we've been doing with the, with recent stuff, with the sketches, with, 
uh, mail videos and stuff. We've just been, you know, Ryan will take us, uh, 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 what, you'll take a what at it? A, uh. A crack? A crack. That's what I was looking for. I was like, a snap? No, no, no. A oh, smack? I'll take a crack at it. Ryan will take a crack at it, and then he'll uh, give me his little hard drive, and I'll take a crack at it, and then give it back to Ryan. He'll take a crack at it. And then, you know, somewhere in the process, we might give it to Lynn Nelson. He'll take a crack at it, and then yeah. gives it back, and then uh, finalize it, and, and bada boom, bada bing. But Lil Nelson's really only looking for spelling corrections. Yeah. Yeah, he's good, good speller. But, uh, you know, that's, that's how Super Mega videos are made these days. You know, it's just like the Back old to days. basics. Back to the basics. Man. And we're editing them in the same room we used to edit our old Super Mega videos. That's the craziest well, part. We also used to edit them from our apartment a lot of the times because we would be editing videos at 2 a.m. that would be going out for 10 a.m. Yes. But yes, we would. Uh, I was going to And then we'd call. get up for the next morning to go work on Game Grumps and then spend after Game Grumps working on Super Mega. So we'd really... I do not miss those days, but it was like a... <clears throat> it was a time... That I do have nostalgia. Yeah, same. For. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of been a similar grind recently. I've like just uh, last night was the first night I've I went to bed before midnight in probably like two months, and it, it felt nice, dude. I fucking slept like a baby uh, because I've just been so used to just staying at the office until like three or four. Or yeah. five. I always know, like, once once I look out the window and the sun is up, I'm like, fuck, I need I, to go th- home. That's when I'm miserable, and I can't. I know I, it's going to. I know the next day is ruined. Yep. The moment I hear birds chirping, I know the next day is ruined, and I'm going to have to work through that next day to push through, and then not only that, try later in the day to get my sleep schedule back on track. Can't nap. Because, like, no, if you nap, you'll just, and I'll sleep past alarms if I stayed up, like, an all-nighter, and then I try to take a nap, set an alarm. That's most of the time when I'm sleeping through alarms is taking right. a nap after an all-nighter. Do you ever uh, wake up and you're like your alarm's going off and in a dazed confusion, like you're not even really conscious, you turn your alarm off and go back to sleep? Because I do that sometimes. It's like, yeah, I guess it's like when I wake up when I'm deep in REM sleep and I'm so confused, I just turn my alarm off and go back to sleep. And then I wake up and I've missed my alarm by like over an hour. And I'm like, what the fuck, That's brain? That's I, I place my alarm usually at a place to where I have to like put some effort like I used to probably have those fugue states that's a smart idea right I used to have those fugue states of sorts when uh when I'd have the phone like under my pillow or like near my head or just kind of like on the bed with me but now if I put it on the far side of my nightstand I Mm. typically you know I'm like I have to like actually start searching for it be you know so that's smart but if you have to put in a little more effort it give it makes you more aware of wakes course. you up a little bit too mm-hmm. well yeah cuz I have mine on my nightstand which is inches from my head so I'll just so um I just put the mic down so you wouldn't hear anything that was fantastic right what are we at now like like counter wise I'm someone Someone, okay, because we're starting from episode one, someone better start keeping a tally from this point on. And you got to separate Matt and I's. You haven't done one yet. I haven't and the fir- yet. And the, and the first toot that Matt will, will produce for this podcast will be legend, wait for it, Barney Stinson. Dairy. You know, Dairy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude. Uh, someone from episode one, though, I would like to see a count, and I would like to see it updated and and maintained and kept accurate. Okay. What? What the? Fu- Why did you unplug my microphone? Yep, it's the Ryan podcast now. <laughs> so, um, to all you ladies, <laughs> I, did, I, did, I didn't mean the trip, you brother. You unplug my microphone. <laughs> Dude. You got it. You got it. You got it, bro. You got it, dog. I'm am I back? <laughs> dude, you? Ryan, from the last episode, dude, you got two banana stains on this chair. Look at this. One, two. One is like a grease stain and one is like yellow banana fucking Dude, I let you sit in my chair for one episode. You wipe your banana hands on the computer I made. You get fucking banana all over the chair, and you leave a rotting banana peel on my on my on my table. Stop! <laughs> I wish you. I wish that you yanked it, and it just broke, broke the microphone. The mic. <laughs> like the cord rips off, but this is still in there. Sparks go flying. <laughs> um, Thank God we're using wired though. 
Hopefully yeah. we don't have problems with these. We've Hope. already discussed our pro Look, again, since we're just starting this and this is a new set and this is kind of new equipment and stuff that we're dealing with, there is a level of... Uh, growing pains. Yeah, gr th there's some growing pains that we're having to get used to. We're going to have to iron out some wrinkles. Kinks? Wrinkles, yeah. Iron out some kinks? No. Iron out some... There's uh, kinks in the armor. You got to work out the kinks. I'm you too know. afraid to say the other thing. Yeah, I just keep it at kinks in the armor. Let's. I just don't want people to cut me out of context. Right. But it is a saying. It, no, it's a, it's a, it, it is a saying. It's like a, a kink a in the, like a kink in the armor. Right. You know. Kink. There, I kind of... Yeah, there you go. Yes. A, a kink in the armor. Uh, no, ho hold up one second. Actually, I'm... I'm gonna go undercover. You're going and, undercover, and I want to see. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go undercover and ask Luke what that phrase is, and see if, see if he's an ally or a non-ally. Let's see. Put him on blast. Okay, so I got this recording right now. Okay. Let's see proof. Let's see yeah, it's, it's recording. Yeah. And I'll, uh, I'll be waiting. Yeah. <sighs> hey, Luke. Yeah. Trying to think of like phrases like. Uh, iron out some wrinkles or whatever. What's the? There's like a like something in the armor. Stop. <sighs> yeah, I fucking re voice record. Fuck. Whatever, you. dude. <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> oh wait, 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 wait. I have a question. Um, what what is that phrase where it's where where it's like a. Uh, Something jacks. They're like a snack. What are they called? Cracker jacks? <laughs> oh, I got them. I got them. I... <gasps> okay. All right, what's the prognosis? Well, he called me out right away and was like, I'm not doing that. And I was like, fuck. He's like, and your voice recording? And I was like, okay, he caught me. But I got him with a second one that he wasn't expecting. Yeah? I was like, uh, sorry, I'm getting kind of hungry. Do we have any of those... Well, I didn't say this exactly. People will hear it. I was just like, what's that snack? It's like something jacks. And you wouldn't believe what he said. Did he say a slur? Mm-hmm. He said the C word. He did. So that's an audio recording of our podcast editor saying one of the worst slurs known to man. And uh, just to add insult to injury, here is a little clip of uh, a recorded in secret of Luke laughing earnestly at Family Guy. <laughs> That's that was Luke watching Family Guy clips and actually <laughs> laughing. Uh, I had to. I, I started recording that once I saw what was going on. Uh, but I think this is as good a place as any. Uh, I actually just got a voicemail from a debt collector. So did you really? I, yeah, <laughs> yes, I just did. Wait, what? I don't know. I just got into. I, Sometimes it's bullshit. Yeah. So they said, please call us back. So I'm gonna call them back. So. Uh, uh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I've been checking my credit report, and there's nothing on there. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, uh, I pulled my credit report last week. There's nothing on there that would. I have no debt. It could be bullshit. Well, we will see, won't we? Yeah, it could be like a medical thing, maybe like a doctor's bill that you forgot to. No, but that shows up on my credit report oh, if true. it's outstanding. Like it, that stuff would show up on my credit report before it would go to a debt collector. Yeah. Well, Matt's gonna figure out this debt collector thing which i'm guessing you'll find the resolution to on the after hours which is a after show type segment that's right uh that we put onto the patreon that's right where if you support us on patreon uh first of all we're very thankful for Thank anyone you. who decides to support us on patreon it's not something that you have to do it's something that you choose to do and we appreciate that um but you can get a bunch of extras one of those extras being an extended little uh podcast show and then other stuff that you can look forward to that, um, like Uncle Sleepover, which we will, we're going to record the, the next episode of that soon. So thank you guys so much uh, for supporting us on Patreon. And thank you so much for listening or watching. Otherwise, yeah. you don't, you know, have to monetarily support us. You can just watch or listen. And if that's you, thank you. And, and as always, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. night.
You know what really disturbed me as a kid was I walked in while my mom was watching Fargo, and the scene where he's fart go more like. <laughs> okay, okay, dude. Nice. Uh, the scene where he's putting a. Uh, uh, a certain character into the wood chipper. Oh yeah. I saw that and like I walked in and just saw it on the TV. For some reason as a kid he